It's me, Otacon. Wow, they even capture you. Hurry, get me out of here. Hey, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Because of him. Yeah, it's the Derpa Chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Oh, bastard. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here, then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this, too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. He's coming back. See you later. Wait! That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot. You'll pay for that.
save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Snake, about Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece, and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Uh, New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake.
in past here. Liquid. You're not going any farther. Die! It's a long way down. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? Now you're mine! If I stay here, I'm finished. from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from behind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. Snake! Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? 
Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I... I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you... Do you think love can bloom, even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But... If you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, uh, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you.
The elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. There's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out. It's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Too late, Snake! Now die!
Are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me, in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please! She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't! Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see? Women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a guard. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A guard? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day. 
driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero. Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aluts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... she was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. Hero, please set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. 
I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. Parachute near the wreckage of the hind. A parachute? You don't think that Liquid survived? Impossible. As soon as he jumped out of the pilot's seat, he'd be sliced up faster than an onion on an infomercial. So what's that parachute doing there then? I have no idea. A trap? Either that or a message to me. Meaning I'm not dead, I suppose. Maybe. But I think it's more like I'll string you up. Well, in any case, don't let your guard down. I won't.
there are a lot of crows around here. Those aren't crows. Those are northern ravens. The Inuit and other Native Americans worship northern ravens as creator deities. Some say that ravens have the power to predict death. The great poet Marlowe wrote about them in the 16th century. Thus, like the sad presaging raven that tolls the sick man's passport in her hollow beak, and in the shadow of the silent night doth shake contagion from her sable wings. That's pretty gloomy, Master. By the way... What? I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI... Yeah? And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja... Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. 
You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? Move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. You jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pool. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport! Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words.
just as the boss said. It is my existence, which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? That was not the Dharma Chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the Chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake. In the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Snake, it's me. Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? 
Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. said there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you.
Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Starting to think. 
think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. The President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstead president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And <laughs> what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place... Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss... You're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? 
Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Beryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the President was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah, you better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's yeah. that? Damn! The key fell on the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. 